in this session uh, let's cover some of the data dictionary tables and views okay okay let's see where we are we are in system account okay let me go to tom user tom one two three and now I am connected as Tom. Now let me see all the tables which are owned by Tom. Okay, so for that we will use the data dictionary view user tables. So let me describe what are there in user tables. Okay, there are a lot of columns. Let's select the table name and the table space name. Okay. So, select table name, comma, table space name from user tables. Okay, he has only one table which is sales and it is stored in the table space, users. Okay, remember all the views starting with user will show only the objects owned by this particular user here we have logged in as Tom Tom owns only the table sales okay now let's see what are the tables he has permission on for that we need to query the view all underscore tables right whenever we query all underscore data dictionary views what will we get we will get all the objects related to the current user and the objects which the user has privileges right okay so let's describe all underscore tables and there are a quite a number of columns here so let's select the owner table name and let's put a filter on the table space name for users okay so select owner table name from all tables where table space name equal to users you see here I'm giving it in capital letters okay most of the information stored in the data dictionary tables is in uppercase so make sure you provide the values in uppercase you see users is in uppercase okay and you see here we got the table sales which is owned by Tom okay that's the table which we already know that it is owned by Tom and the other two tables sales which belongs to DW owner is showing up and product table which belongs to DW owner is also showing up that means uh, Tom has privileges on sales and product table belonging to DW user okay you see the difference between user tables and all tables cool right yes now why don't we query the DBA tables okay so let me select the owner table name from DBA tables where table space name equal to users what does it say table or view does not exist since Tom does not have a DBA privileges he doesn't have access to the data dictionary view DBA underscore tables that is why it is throwing this error okay normal users can only query the data dictionary views uh, starting with user underscore and all underscore okay they cannot query the data dictionary views uh, or tables starting with DBA underscore okay now let's log into DBA account connect slash s sys DBA and the user is sys okay now we are into DBA account so let me execute the same SQL statement copying that paste 
and you see all the 10 tables which are stored in the table space users are shown. Cool, right? See, when Tom queried the all tables, he got only three tables. One of the table belonged to him and the other two tables, he had permissions to query those tables. That is why these three tables were shown. But apart from those three, there are another seven tables which are stored in the table space users. That means DBA tables will have the information about all the objects. Here it has the information about all the tables stored in the table space users. So as a DBA using the DBA related data dictionary tables and views, you can query all the information related to all the objects in the database. Okay. Okay. Now let's query a couple of more data dictionary views. Okay, let's see what is there in DBA users. Okay, we have username, user ID, password, account status, log date, okay, and a lot of other columns. Okay, you can describe the data dictionary table or view and look at the columns and then based on that you can query the columns needed. Here, let me get the username and the status of these accounts from DBA users where I don't want all the users I just want the users starting with yes so I gave s percentage okay okay there are totally seven users with the username starting with yes and three accounts are in open status system sys and system manager these are in open status and the other four are expired and logged okay that's good this is one of the very important table to get the information related to the users if your user complains that his account is logged and cannot log into the database you can query this and find out whether the user account is logged or not if it is logged obviously you will unlock it and let the user know okay and now let's query one more data dictionary view dba table spaces okay spelled it wrong dba table spaces again i spelled it wrong describe dba table spaces okay this has quite a number of columns okay we have table space name block size initial extent next extent and a lot of other columns let's query the table space name and their block size okay so select table space name block size from DBA table spaces okay we have totally 13 table spaces sitting on our database and for most of them the block size is 8192 bytes but whereas we have one table space which is TBS3 with a block size of 16384 bytes okay that's some good information now let's see one more dba data files okay we have the file name file id table space name the bytes okay and other lot of useful information let's see how many data files we have select file name from DBA data files we have totally 11 data files okay that's good like this uh, depending upon your need you will query the various data dictionary tables or views to get the information you need right let's see couple of more dynamic performance views and they start with V dollar 
right okay the first one why don't we look at v dollar archive log okay we have a lot of information related to archive logs we have their name the sequence number the reset logs change number the reset logs time and lot of other information let's find out the name of the various archive log files okay select name from v dollar archive log okay we have totally 28 archive log files okay as database keeps on adding more archive log files we will be getting more number of files right that means the data in this views is really dynamic as oracle creates more archive redo log files an entry is made into this data dictionary table and we can see that entry that is why these are referred as dynamic okay let's see one more v dollar session okay we know this data dictionary view gives us all the information related to the current sessions in the database you see there are quite a number of columns in this data dictionary view we need not understand all the columns depending upon your need and experience you will know about them but there are quite a handful of columns which we will know as we go along the course okay you need not know all the columns in one day as the course progresses you will be introduced to lot of data dictionary views and you will become perfect okay for right now let's get the system id and the username okay so select sid username from v dollar session there are totally 40 sessions running okay some of them are not owned by any users they might be related to the background processes okay and some of them are related to various accounts here you see 28 system id is related to dbsnp 30 is sys this is our current session you see we are running a sys right so this 30 is our session and there are couple of system ids run by system manager okay more run by system manager and more run by dbs nmp like this you can see the various sessions running in the database okay as i said before we will be introduced to lot of these data dictionary tables and views throughout the course okay just spend some time to query some of these data dictionary tables and views so that you can get familiar with them okay